welcome to Temple University Hospital Pathology Department. My name is Mazen Kofir. Uh, I am a PGY3 and uh, the Chief Resident. Um, now I'm uh, standing in front of the uh, Rock Pavilion building uh, of Temple University Hospital. Um, today I will take you in a tour in our department and I will show you around the hospital. Just across the street from the main building, uh, there is a student faculty center which is a recreational center that has a gym and studying area. And here is the uh, Temple University Lewis Katz School of Medicine and uh, also it has uh, basic research labs uh, that you can participate in. This is our gross room and uh, Salvatore will uh, show us around. Okay, let's go in. Alright, welcome to the gross room. So right here we can see the accessioning area. We have Gregory accessioning some specimens. As they come in, this is where the accessioning is done. We also have a fridge where we keep our specimens after accessioning. So they're in here waiting for us after they're processed to be grossed by us. So over here we can see our grossing table with everything you need. Uh, we already have Selena, our PA, working on a specimen. Um, at the back, we have our storage spaces after we're after we gross our specimens, they're kept here for storage for a couple of days until they're actually signed out. So if we move to the other side of our grocery room, we have two of our other PAs, we have Tasha and, and Mario. Hey guys. Hello. So these two uh, grossing tables are specifically designated for Tasha and Mario. We have a specific station for our frozen, so whenever we get an intraoperative consult, this is where we do our magic. We have three cryostat machines, also for cutting during frozen. Two additional cryostats. And this is our multi-scope area for reading our frozen and intraoperative consoles with a TV as well. So, um, Salvatore, can you tell me um, about the surgical uh, pathology um, rotation? Sure. No problem. So our surgical rotation it consists of a three-day cycle. Uh, so our first day we're actually grossing specimens, approximately from 9:30 to uh, just before five o'clock. Uh, our second day consists of biopsies with attendings, and our third day we're actually signing out with attendings for our routine cases. We have a great variety here at Temple. We could go from benign, such as gallbladders and appendixes, to laryngectomies and whipple cases as well. We have a good variety here, good exposure for us. Okay, great. This is our histology lab, and let's go on. So this is our uh, histolab and immune, uh, uh, hist immune histochemistry. This is one of our histotech. Hi, Hello. Brittany. Hi, how are you? Good. Do you want to show us around here a little bit? Yes, let's start from the beginning. Okay. We're going to take you over to the histology side. And once the blocks come off of the process, you have the embedding thinners. Okay. And this is where the tissue is embedded into paraffin where a block is created, where you would get sections off and stain it for H&E staining. Um, this is the H&E stainer. This is where after the size come out of the oven, or you can heat it on the stainer itself in their stain with H and E, staining hematite and DSM. Once the slides come off of the stainer, they are carbon slipped. In the temple histology laboratory, they use plastic film to carbon slip. In other laboratories, they may use glass. Um, over here is the special staining area. We have two Dr. Artisan special stainers. This is if the doctors need any additional staining after they look at the so over here, this is the processors. This is where the tissue goes after it is grossed in the gross room. It is processed overnight, and that's where it's taken over to the embedding center to embed. These are just fume hoods to dispose of any hazardous waste or non-hazardous waste. And this is another processor. 
That's, um, Temple has a large volume, so they have multiple processors. This is the stat processor. This is where um, any livers, kidneys, or hearts are processed for same day diagnosis. This is the refrigerator where we keep all of our special staining reagents. This is the freezer where if you look inside, you have ice trays. And this is what, after we face the tissue, we put it on the ice to get a section. And this room, this is the histology um, cutting gear. Hey everyone. Hello. Hello. So this is where the sides are prepared. And right now you have Joseph sitting at his microtome. This is the water bath where after you get a section, you will place the section on the water bath and you will pick it up with a slide, a glass slide to stain on the H&E stainer. Okay. Cool. And last but not least, this is the immunohistochemistry area. This is where after, just like special staining, if the doctors need um, any additional testing, ran on the material is going to these two. Um, Temple primarily uses DACO instrumentation for a special setting and immunohistochemistry. chemistry. So these are the two machines now that are being used. They are both in use because there is a high volume of immunohistochemistry. And this concludes the tour of Temple University Histology and Immunohistochemistry chemistry laboratory. Thank you so much, Brittany. You're welcome. So welcome to our cytology department. Uh, over here we have our intake window where we receive about approximately over 3,000 specimens a year. So let's go take a quick tour. Over here we have a resident reading cases from today. Hey so, Jalil. Hello guys. Welcome to Temple. Okay. Now let's go see Sherry for a quick tour. Hi Sherry. Hello. Do you want to give us a quick tour? Alright, welcome to the cytology department. This area is known as the prep area. This is where we prep all the specimens once our techs go down for our FNAs. As you can see, I'm working, getting ready to prepare some specimens. We did quicken cover slip here. This is our brand new thin prep processor. We can process up to 20 thin prep, thin prep slides at one time on this process. All right, over here, we have our brand new stainer. This is where all the slides get stained for the cytotext to, and the cytopathologist to screen. And this hood is where we make our cell blocks. Um, once we spin them down in our uh, centrifuge over here, we put them in the little cassettes, drop them in the form. And pretty much it. Thank That's you. it in a nutshell. Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And here is uh, our Cytotex screening our Hello. cases. Hello, guys. Hello. We have three Cytotex here. And here's there's our cyto uh, our storage area. So this is the mark suite. Um, as you enter, you can see we have two autopsy tables. Uh, we also have an accessioning station at both tables. We have a storage area in the middle for completed autopsies, waiting for a sign up. How many autopsies uh, do you get? We get approximately over 100 autopsies a year. More than enough to meet and fulfill the requirements of the ACGMA. Welcome to Blood Bank. We will uh, continue our uh, CP tour uh, in the Blood Bank. Uh, let's come on in. Yeah, this is our Blood Bank that starts from that side and goes to here. So we have like about one, two, three, five, six benches here. So technologists can work 
on their branches and they have different assigned duties to fulfill. This is our receiving panty area. There is a window that drops specimen on that side and so far is right now receiving and actually issuing. This bench is responsible for issuing and receiving the specimen. This is our issuing window okay. where we issue the blood products, the trauma, the MTP. Okay. This is where we keep all our blood. Uh, this is assigned blood to patients. This is where we keep all our unassigned blood that's processed available for any patient. Okay. This is the processing bench where they process all the blood that comes from Red Cross. Okay. These are our plasma towers for frozen FFP or cryo. Uh, there's the freezers that them. These are our reagent fridges. This is the antibody bench where they do uh, antibody workups, uh, full cross matches. Mm. Those are instruments that do the type and screen. Okay. That's blood bank. Welcome to our clinical chemistry lab. Uh, we will uh, take a quick tour. Come on in. This is our uh, clinical chemistry lab, and here is our uh, clinical chemistry manager, Ms. Meraldo. Uh, welcome. And would Hello. you like to give us Hi. a quick tour of the clinical chemistry lab? Sure. Uh, so we process the specimen here. This is the area of central process where the tanks process all the specimens when the nurses and the doctors bring the specimens they lock them in and sort them out um, and we have the automation line here in the chemistry um, the specimens are uh, loaded um, here and as you can see uh, they're processed by this uh, automation line um, we have uh, four instruments that are connected to automation line. Who are the Vista? We run the general chemistry. And who are the centaurs? We run the back there. And we run the immunoassay mostly and the infection disease uh, assays. Um, on the back, we have the blood gas in the area and the urine if we want to go around. And we perform some manual chemistry testing. Um, we perform the admission rapid from um, blood gas. Um, so this is the blood gas area. We have three instruments and we have um, the urinalysis instrument. This, most of these instruments are Siemens uh, instruments. This is our uh, conference room. Here we, where we uh, used to have our uh, morning lectures, but now uh, it is all via Zoom. Hi everyone, I'm Salvatore. I'm a PGY2 here at Temple University Hospital, and I'm going to give you a tour of the Junior Pathology Resident Room. All right, upon entering our room, you can see two desks allocated for our students that are regularly here at Temple. Let's go meet some of our residents. First, we have Irina. Hi, I'm Irina. I'm a Joy One resident. I, I'm originally from Ukraine, and uh, I'm very happy to be here because we are like a big family here. Thanks, Irina. Next, I believe, is George. Hi, George. Hey, I'm George David. I'm a PGY2. Came all the way from Lebanon to be here. I'm very happy. It does feel like a family here. Awesome. Uh, George is also completing some research, correct? You want to tell us about that? Yes, so I'm interested in geopathology and I'm mm. working on four different projects here with a specific uh, faculty member and we have a lot of different opportunities with different faculties. So okay. if anybody's interested in research, there's plenty of opportunities. This is the place to be. Thanks, yep. George. Next, we have Elisa. Hi, I'm Elisa, PGY1, and I'm from Trinidad. Awesome, thank you, Elisa. And one more, I believe, Daniel. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Daniel Mir. I'm originally from Iran. Uh, we would be more than happy to have you guys here. Right, thanks, Daniel. This is my empty desk. Now, also in our junior room, we have a nice library of textbooks over here and inside of our closet. Uh, we also have a double scope 
for a mini consensus with our colleagues. And once again, an area dedicated to our students. And here is the senior residence room. Let's go inside. So this is the senior residence room. It has eight desks and each resident has his, uh, his and her own uh, computer and microscope. Uh, this offers a quiet and uh, cozy place, especially for the fourth years to prepare for their boards. And here is Anu, who is uh, fourth years. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Anu. I'm one of the fourth years. Uh, here at Temple. Uh, Anu, so uh, can you tell me what do you like most about uh, Temple? So I like the resident group the most. I think we're very diverse and we're a very supportive group. So that has helped me in the last four years. And when are, uh, where are you going for fellowships? So I'm going to uh, UPenn for Hematopathology Fellowship and then I'm going to UPMC Pittsburgh for Molecular Fellowship. Okay, great. Thank you, Anu. Here is Hamza. How are you, Hamza? Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Hamza. I am a third year uh, resident. Uh, I'm interested in surgical pathology. I'm going to do a uh, search pathology on uh, Mayo Clinic, Florida. Okay, great. Um, so I see you are on expert path studying. Yes, so this is one of the resources that we have it here uh, uh, on Temple. Uh, it's provided by the program. We have access to expert bath, uh, bath primer, and also we have uh, funds for a uh, book, uh, four books every year. Okay, great. And uh, there is also a library here, and uh, it is uh, all up to date, and it has all the reference books that you will need uh, throughout your residency. And here there is also a fridge and microwave for your lunch. So welcome to Temple's cafeteria. I'm going to give you a quick tour. Always fresh cold drinks to our right. Uh, Jason to that, we have our fresh sandwiches and wraps. That also has gluten free options. Jason to that, we have our hot table and also our breakfast table with a variety of chicken fingers, hamburgers, french fries, a not so healthy choice. Next to that is an additional hot table that has different cuisines, a different variety of cuisines daily. We also have a pizza station that has our own uh, stone brick oven, made fresh every day. In the middle here we have a salad bar that's available during lunch time. Currently pre-packaged through the COVID-19 just for our safety. 